Hey, this is Digital Bike Computing. We're gonna go through the steps on how to download the VNX uh, simulator onto your computer, and then you're gonna import that into something like VMware, uh, into your um, VMware environment so that you can actually use it and simulate a full VNX environment. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna go into the EMC website, just emc.com, and you wanna sign up for an account. Signing up for an account is free, and we'll let you go and download that simulator. All right, so you're essentially gonna simulate the, the full functionality of a VNX uh, file level um, system. All right, so once you've signed in, you're gonna be presented with the main website page here for the main EMC page, and you wanna click on support up the top. When you're in the support area, you wanna select downloads. And then in here, you wanna look for VNX. Okay, now we're specifically gonna be looking for VNX, uh, where are we, VNX2 series. Okay, so there are various models of the VNX1 and the VNX2. VNX2 will cover a whole range and it'll, inc it'll include also the latest simulator as well. So VNX2 series, and then we click on that double arrow you'll be presented with a whole list of things to download. So this is simulators, but it's also a lot of tech manuals, um, firmware updates, all those sort of things. Now in here, click down on title to sort it by title. Now we wanna scroll down to close to the very bottom to VNX, all right? And we're looking for VNX file simulator. All right, so you'll see here that the model number, we're gonna get the one with the latest model number which at this stage is 8.1.8. .8. Now you see it says single dual data mover OVA package. So you can get a single or dual data mover. Okay, we're gonna be using the dual, well this particular one here, single dual data mover down the bottom 8.1.8 .8 OVA package. So this is actually a full VM image that we can then import into a tool like VMware. You can also import it into other tools like Hyper-V and Citrix as well. All right, so go ahead and download the 8.1.8 uh, simulator. You'll see that it's 3.2 gig big, and that is now gonna to start to download it. All right, so that is the basic steps on how to download it and we'll cross back once we're ready to import it into our VMware environment. So the install should now be complete and you'll see that I'm within my lab environment for VMware and this is where I'm gonna import my uh, VNX simulator. All right, so I'm connected directly into a ESXi host. Uh, if you're running something like vCenter and managing multiple hosts, uh, the process is exactly the same. So I'm just selecting my host up the top here. Doesn't matter where I select anywhere uh, is okay. And we go into file and we want to deploy an OVF template. So you select that and now we're gonna navigate to where I know I've got my uh, simulator, which is EMC VNX. And that is the simulator there. I'm just gonna go and open it and next. Now it's saying that the download size is 2.9. It's gonna use 7.8 thin provisioned uh, or 180 gig thick provision. So it's actually gonna use 180 by default, but it's extendable up to 7.8, uh, which is what the, uh, the thin is gonna be set as by default. All right, but you're only gonna be using 180 gig as it extends. So as you're adding more storage, it'll go up to 7.8, which is what thin is here. Um, all right, so VNX file simulator version eight, etc. All right, we're just leaving this, let's just call it VNX simulator. Next, where do we wanna save it? So I'm gonna put it onto my NAS. Okay, leaving it as thin. And finish. So that is now gonna import the actual OVF file, OVA file, sorry, into your um, into your VMware environment. Shouldn't take too long. Once it's up, you should be able to power it on and go from there. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up. 
Subscribe to my channel, Digital Byte Computing, for a whole bunch of more videos.